Holy moly. All right. Jim Tuscano here on the Monday Night Live Stream. How y'all doing? Welcome to the Monday Night Live Stream. You know, I had a really funny conversation with David Garibaldi today. <laughs> and we were talking about <clears throat> what it's like when you live stream and when you when you do master classes and there's nobody in your room. And then you play and then it's just silence. <laughs> And it's just a funny dynamic. I mean, everybody is getting used to this, you know, in their own world of live streaming or doing classes. But if you've never done that before, it's just a weird feeling when you play and then you finish and you're like, crickets. <laughs> so it's an interesting dynamic for musicians especially, right? Because we're usually sharing and connecting with people so i'm gonna check in the chat real quick i actually have a really special video to play tonight which came in for me maybe i just didn't realize but it came in kind of last minute and i think i got it together so i'm going to very much depend on my usual squad in the chat to tell me if they hear sound when i play the video which i'm sure you will hear the sound I won't hear it, but I'm hoping you will all hear it. And uh, let me say hello hello real quick in the chat. And then um, we're going to play this video that came in. And um, being that it's the holiday season, you know, we're, we're going to share something extremely special. Um, and I think I should turn off, I think I should put on my Do Not Disturb on my phone. Because <laughs> I didn't do that. What am I doing? All right. Do Not Disturb. Where are you? Please don't disturb me now. All right, so do not disturb is on. All right, now I'm just, oh wait, one more thing. I'm sorry. I should have had this together. Really, I've been working round the clock on everybody else's rigs but mine. And so, you know, it's like, it's like the story of the shoemaker, right? The shoemaker's kids have no shoes because he's too busy making everybody else's shoes. Um, <laughs> So, all right, let me go through the chat real quick. And actually, what I think I'll do, I'll bring up the chat window just so we can have it in the live stream. Uh, live stream with chat. There it is. And then I'm going to bring up my little live window. All right, so from the top, it said, wait, who is the first one in here? Let's go to the top. Ross Amoroso, how are you tonight, Ross? So good to see you. Lucia, how are you? Good to see you. They're all saying hello to each other. Bob Sears, what's happening? Yes, that was a Roger song, Shoot the Moon. Very good. Um, Waja, as I call him, Waja Sweet Friedman, which hopefully I'll have those guys on pretty soon. Actually, I'm going to have the whole band, Giant Flying Turtles guys on. Uh, we're planning that. We spoke about it today, so that'll be pretty soon. Um, so Bob Sears, Lucia, Ross Amorosa, my Zoom squad is here. Um, also, John Gill is hanging, and John Gill is actually in the video that I'm going to play, so that's pretty cool. Um, John Gill, welcome. Merry Christmas to you, too, from Oneonta, New York, where they got 187 inches of snow. Um, and Daniel Michael is hanging. Evening, Daniel Michael. And um, make sure, I'm just going to say this again because the, the drum book giveaway continues. Do it tomorrow in the comments on YouTube. You can't do it on Facebook. It has to go on the YouTube video, the archive of this stream tomorrow. Hashtag free drum book tomorrow on the archive video, episode 41. Oh my goodness, it's episode 41. And we're up to episode 40, I think, on the uh, Hand Technique Workshop. And um, yeah, so that's pretty crazy. Um, hopefully, just tell me, uh, sound-wise, was everything okay tonight? I, I couldn't really tell I didn't get a proper sound check in so um, just let me know if the sound on the track to drums ratio is okay because it looked like it was really hot and I don't know if the track was too loud but you, you let me know yes Ross excellent yeah I can't wait giant flying turtles should be a really fun night having the whole band on and they will be um, you know a fun bunch of guests to have on all at the same time as you all know I had Lucia on last night as my not last week not last night, last week is my special guest, which I thought was really um, inspirational and really interesting and, and incredible. And Lucia 
what great answers she had for my questions, and it was just super fun. Um, I think I'm going to jump in and play that video because I, I have a lot to get to tonight. I actually have some fills that I was writing before the live stream, and I'm going to share some ideas, some concepts, but tonight is more of a, a loose thing. It's a hang. We're going to do a lot of chatting, and um, I will definitely plant a couple of seeds of ideas for a new thing that I'm writing out, um, some of, the, of which is in my book already, but some of this will be um, variations on some themes. So I'm going to play this little video, and hopefully you guys have sound. Now listen, if there's no sound, I will be monitoring the chat window. So please like go, hey Jim, no sound, because then I make sure that I play it um, next time with sound or because uh, I just uploaded this. Let's see what happens. Here we go. I have a beautiful video for you guys. So I'm flying back from Italy and I'm organized and I'm flying home and I got to put the party together. And these words came to me immediately in one writing and I wrote them down on the back of my boarding card, which I still have. Let me read these words for you. The verse. Santa is coming, so open your heart. No one will know where his visits will start. Children believe in his story with love. You must have faith in his journey above. The chorus. You can be Santa if you know a child. The joy you create will set happiness wild. So put on his suit and step into the role. Set yourself up. Start from the North Pole. Oh. Second verse. Santa is coming, and you are the one. Become the actor for daughter or son. This is your moment to now have a reason. It is part of our lives to prepare for the season. Then back to the chorus. Last verse. It is your time. Find strength in the now. Put trust in your instinct to find out just how. Pick up the suit and wear it with ease and set your new goal. Create memories. You can be Santa if you know a child. The joy you create will set happiness wild. So put on your suit and step into that role and set yourself up and start from the North Pole. Mm -hmm. Last verse. Tis love, hope, and smiles, and Santa's not new. This is your time. Because Santa is you. Oh, my God. That's who Santa is. We have the responsibility to create this joy, to put on the costume, and go out and lift someone else's life. In a time right now, in the pandemic that we're in, where people do not even have food to feed their children, we all need to step up and whatever that role of Santa means to be, put on the suit and go out and make a difference because Santa is you. Aww. Holy moly. I keep saying holy moly. It's becoming a habit. How beautiful is that? So that was Dom's Santa song. And it's like, yes, exactly. It was so heartfelt. And um, that was on uh, Janine Fox's uh, podcast, Oh For Drum's Sake. That was me, Bobby Angeletta, John Gill, Dom Famulara, of course, Janine, and Dave Stark, some great friends. And we were... Bobby and I were in our matching Christmas attire and um and Dom read us th those lyrics that he wrote on a plane and it came to him and <laughs> that's really what it, the the whole season is all about isn't it it's just so beautiful um and Janine sent me the video like I don't know when she sent it but I saw it 15 minutes before the live stream and I was like, oh, my God, I have to convert the video and then get it up there. And it was really just super beautiful. So <laughs> what's that, Bob? Oh, uh, yeah, so, of course. Of course, Dom's involved when it comes to this stuff. So, yeah, so such a wonderful thing. And, um, you know, do follow Janine um, Fox's podcast, Oh, for Drum's Sake, on Instagram. Um, and it's such a beautiful thing. And we're doing in in... January. Um, I forget the date. Um, John Gill's going to remind me. We're doing a drum teacher student episode uh, on drum education, the history of drum education with Dom Famularo, myself, Lucia, 
and um, Bobby Angeletta, John Gill, and their students. It's going to be really, well, Janine Fox is John Gill's student, so that's, I uh, I correct myself there, but it's, I think it's the ninth. I think you're correct, Lucia, so it's going to be super fun. So I just wanted to play that video and share that, and while I'm at it, I'm just going to do this one more time, because it's the season, and this is what it's all about. I'm going to play my other video. Stand by. Yeah. Oh my God, is that the sweetest thing ever? <laughs> so I think, you know, the double the double feature, Dom video and Lucia video, was very appropriate for the, uh, for the Christmas spirit. Yes, that's you! <laughs> How awesome is that? So I thought I'd just share that one more time. Why not, right? <laughs> Bob Sears. Yes, we're all crying. Exactly. <laughs> Oh, uh, how awesome. So anyway, that's what it's all about. It is Christmas week. We finally got some snow. So we're excited about having, sort. Of, we're sort of excited about having a white Christmas. Although by Christmas Day, it's probably just going to be melted mush everywhere. Um, but it is Christmas week. And, um, and for those of you who are not celebrating Christmas, it is a holiday week for everybody in spirit. And so... It's going to be awesome. We're going to have, you know, very small gatherings with our families. Um, okay, who cut the onions? Ah, that's great, Daniel. Um, yeah, so, uh, you know, so it's going to be pretty small. Our family is the family unit staying at home in the house, three of us. And, um, and you know, my mom is seeing my sister, and we're kind of doing our little patches of people. So hopefully everybody's doing it safe and smart. And, uh, you know, hopefully in 2021, some of these uh, some of these vaccines are going to kick the butt of the virus, we hope, and kind of get things back under control. That would be amazing. Um, so and I, I just want to mention real quick um, that I'm really thankful to all of you that come in here week after week and hang with me. It's a beautiful thing. And I do it um, out of the love of it because, hmm. Well, I love the drums, first of all. I love teaching, second of all. <laughs> and I love hanging with all you. So there it is. So that's my um, that's my sort of proclamation. And, and this year, I'm going to continue the live streaming into, you know, 20, all of 2021. And I started back in January. So it's coming up on a year of of constant live streaming. <laughs> and um, I've only missed a few weeks. You know, I've taken off occasionally just to catch up on things but uh but I really do love doing it and um and I thank everybody for hanging with me so we're going to get into some drumming topics pretty soon I do want to mention that man I have like a whole bunch of boxes over there by my by my coaching area of new gear that's getting put into place so this is going to be an interesting next month uh, I got the M1 chip, silicone chip, Mac Mini coming in in about three weeks. I have a brand new Sony camera that's sitting on my desk that hasn't even been plugged into the system yet. And um, some new interface stuff and all kinds of fun little gizmos over there. Lenses and, you know, so it's going to be fun. And, of course, all of this stuff is going to be tested and, you know, taught and kind of shown to everybody to kind of help them integrate into their systems and and um I'm just about wrapped up with the Rhythm magazine article and I've I did a wonderful interview this week with one with Stanton Moore, one with Dave Weckel, and today with Mr. Diva Garibaldi and those interviews are so fun and we've all spent a lot of time together over the last eight 
nine months, whatever it is, since uh, March. And uh, so it was really fun to, to hang with my buds and kind of talk about the uh, state of things. And so that that's coming out pretty soon. So I'll keep you posted about that, of course. And um, yeah, man, I'm going to dig into this wacky little topic. I'm going to I'm going to check back in with the chat shortly. And um, I don't think my mom will be in here tonight. So I'll put up the graphic if she does show up. Um, so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to share my screen, split my screen with a little PDF that I started throwing together. And um, this says 30 second note double. It was supposed to be doubles for the feet. Fills with some exit strategies and contrasting. It's all spelled wrong. Contrasting mishmash. Now, of course, you know, that is a wonderful title. 30 second note double fills with some exit strategies and contrasting mishmash. So anyway, so that is what I wrote today. And um, it's based on a couple of little themes that I'm going to teach a little bit of just to plant a seed. And I kind of, it's funny, the contrasting mishmash idea came up while I was playing through some ideas and trying to decide what I was going to talk about. And so, you know, this is not a finished sheet. So don't judge me, okay? This sheet will get finished and it will get presented to you guys at some point. But, um, uh, you know, so those of you who, are, who have a double pedal and don't use it much or maybe are looking for some fun ideas, there's some double pedal ideas in here that we'll play around with. And there, what I was trying to do is, you know, the contrasting mishmash idea is that one of these fills in particular, it's a double bass fill that has Pat Boone, Debbie Boone in it. So kind of like taking a little bit of a heavy sounding thing and mixing it with like a standard kind of thing. So, and um, I wrote out some little sort of segments, some little practice segments. I'm going to pull my monitor closer because um, I didn't print it out. I'm going to read it off the monitor. But the little practice segments are things to get used to to play some of these little fills. So I'm just going to go through each little one of those. So the first one, first of all, basically, if you don't use your double pedal for a lot of stuff, these are great things as an intro. Um, so I'm keeping this pretty simple. And um, so the first thing is just getting used to playing hand, hand, foot, foot. And, you know, don't think about rate. Just think about movement at the moment. And um, I'll turn down my headset mic for a moment. Now I feel like I need the foot switch like Stanton. Put on the foot cam, actually. Um, you can see my little offset pedals down there. Uh, let's see. We can picture and picture that. Let's see. If we do, it's probably going to be flipped. Let me see. Is that picture and picture down there? Camera four. Now i got to flip this. So we're going to go four and one. Did that do it? No. Four and two. Four and two. Four and two. <laughs> there we go. Oh, and that's kind of out of the picture. Let me see if I can get that dialed in a little bit. Um, and yeah, it's so you know what? I'm going to have to go to the full screen image um, so you can see it. But I, I'll show you anyway from, from this point of view. So anyway, I can't split screen and show the foot cam and everything. So anyway, um, and you could do this with one foot, by the way. Um, so you could do... Uh, Right. And of course, you know, I put a rest in that thing. So really, you could work on bursts, which would be. But if you use your double pedal. OK, so really, really super simple. And I'll I'll toggle between my split screen and this so that I know what the heck I'm playing. Um, so here, the next clip would be, oh yeah, so that was just hand, hand, foot, foot. Now we're going to go hand, hand, foot, foot, hand. So one E and. So the first one was one E. The second one is going to be one E and. And then the third one, I'm just going to displace that and put it on the E. 
and I'll show you what that looks like. So here would be uh, one E and, right? So we're, and that's why I said double, because we're doubling a phrase of one E and, one E and, right? One E and. Um, I'll leave the mic on. Okay, so even if we just use that, right? So it's one E and. Um, I was putting it on the three, three E and, four E and, one, two, three, four, one, two, three and, four and a one, two, three, four. One and two, three, um, right? So that's that's a nice way to utilize that little double bass, double pedal fill, which could be your foot. One and two. Okay, now, so that's that's the segment, right? And of course, play with that around the kit, you know, see where where you could put that. It could be split two surfaces. Right? So, real simple little nugget that you can kind of play around with. Okay. Let me go back to my split screen. Um, okay, so that would be that. And then, oh yeah, so I mentioned displacing it. So if you displace this idea, which is kind of fun, you're gonna put it on one, uh, one, E, and, uh. And then I'm gonna hit two. So I'm gonna put in another note to kind of put an end cap on that phrase. One, E, and, two, one, E, and, Two, one E N two. Oh Jesus! So if I did um, so if we did it on um, one and two and three and a four, one and two and three, one and two and. So I'm putting in like a little placeholder. Um, just so you hear that. Um, or you could do a little uh, one and two and one and two and three. One and two and three. One and two and three. Yeah, so that's that little segment. So we have the first one, um, the one before it. Three and four. One, two, three and four. One, two, three and four. One, two, three and four. Then we move it over. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, uh, three and a four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three and a four. Three and a four. So hard to say that. And you could maybe, let's add on, um, oh, there we go. So I'm trying to put in a note as a launching pad for you guys so you have an auditory thing, but it's much easier not to put in the extra note and just play E and a four. Okay, so that's the next little one. Now, I'll go to here. I hate that I have I can't look at my sheet it makes it harder for my brain to function. Um, so, uh, so we have that. We have um, 
Okay, now, so this is kind of incomplete, but here's where I was talking about the contrasting idea thing. So what if we took this feeling is similar in a way, um, and we did this fill, and then we use that to create phrases that we then do the double pedal thing with. So we sort of can go back and forth between these different things. So I'm just presenting the little um, segments up front. Right, so I'm using this little stuff from the workshop, right? So the first one is one E and a two E. Um, and then the next one, I displace that. So it's one E and a two E and. And of course, you know, you can just play around with those, you know, plant that seed in your head and then kind of mess with that. So those little tight, mm, um, and of course, doesn't have to go that direction. I just happen to like that. So I wrote a couple fills that are coming up later in this with that idea in mind. And you can mix and match. So before I start showing the little contrasting ideas, now I'll jump back to the little double bass idea. So now, what if we put together some of the initial ideas. So we had this first one where we were going, right? Six notes, one E and, a two E if we do two of them, one E and a two E and, right? So now that little phrase really used a lot throughout drumming history. Um, so we have that little idea. So now I expounded on that on uh, example number eight. And this is where I said, yeah, you could take this crazy, silly double bass thing with your double pedal and put in Pat Boone, Debbie Boone at the end. So we have... Uh, Right, so why not? So now you have something that's a little bit aggressive and punchy, and it ends with something that we all know and love. Right, so it's kind of a fun way to involve these little ideas, these little double pedal kind of morsels. <laughs> so I'm gonna do one more. Um, and then, so I didn't really split these up very well, did I? Um, so this one, I took the same idea. So we're going to go, um, we're going to do this six note thing. And then we're going to answer it with a floor tom. Right, so that little segment, like from up top. And then we're going to go, um... And then we have three and four E N. Okay, so I think I can pull this off without reading it. Should be two floor toms in there. There it is. Right, so that's pretty aggressive and punchy. I mean, it's it's kind of silly in a way, but I enjoy it. I think it's a lot of fun. And, you know, I try to make these as tight and punchy as possible. Being that they're all written in 32nd notes, a good trick to learn them is count them in 16th notes, 
uh, each little part of it. One E and a two E and three E and a four E and a one and a two and a three and four. So I counted it like two bars of four four. One E and a two E and three E and a four E and a one and a two. Mm, right? So one E and a two E and three E and a four E and a one and a two and a three and four. <laughs> one E and a two E and three E and a four E and a one and a two and a three and four. One E and a two E and three E and a four E and a one E and a two E. Ah, I can't do it slow. So it's those little parts. That's the first one. Then the next one. Um, and then this one. <laughs> so when you put it together. Right? That little morsel. This one. Then this one. That's the easiest one. Wow, that was the worst explanation ever of that fill. But anyway, there it is. Wow, it's so much easier to play it faster. That's because I never really thought about these things before. I just play them. Um, okay, <laughs> so that's that one. One more time, correctly. So let's put it in, into context, into a groove, so that it kind of makes sense. All right, so there's that one. It's a mouthful, isn't it? That feel is like a mouthful. <laughs> I'm going to go back to the Zoom window with the chat. So everybody left probably. They're like, all right, Jim. Good job, buddy. Um, <laughs> yeah, those are those are a little bit tricky. That's the wrong screen. Um, let me go back to the chat window here. I'm all the way down. Live stream and chat. Um, yeah, so those those little ideas, you know. Yeah, that's right. Some things are way way harder to explain than to play. That is true. That is true. Um, and, you know, all of this is, is just sort of super fun. They're, they're not difficult things. You can really improvise these ideas, but I try to give little, in my teachings, I try to give little bits of them to put together. And, of course, you know, I just sat here and played a bunch. Then I tried to write all this stuff out. Um, but, yeah. You are absolutely right. Now, all of these little things could be phrased anywhere on the kit, and we'll do a little bit of that. But, yeah, those, those are the ideas. And actually, Lucia has, has a new double pedal, so maybe some of these ideas will be things she can try on her new pedal when, when she gets her, her kit together with that. Um, so here's, here's the same kind of ideas. I'm just going to show you. It has a little crossover in it, and this is kind of a fun thing. Let me go to the – I'm just going to go back. Is there any questions? You know, we can chat about that. I'm gonna go back to my um, my full screen, and then so here's here's one of those same ideas. So I'm going. Um, so I bring the hand over, and it's really the same phrase. Um, and when I bring the the sheet back up, I'll show you the the next variation of things that I'm doing. Uses this little crossover, so it's got this kind of idea. <laughs> See, this is why I practice them slowly. I can't play them slow. I can only play them quickly. So here it is slower. OK. 
Okay, there it is. So this is just stuff that I play that I don't usually think about writing out. So let's say you wanted something to be a little bit beefier and kind of punchy and very rocked out. Very rock and roll. These could be some things to try. So that one... You can keep moving that phrase. Right? So all of these little things are, by the way, again, dotted uh, eighth notes, much of this. Right? That's that one e a two e n of the e one e a two e n of the e a one Right? Very, very simple. Again, those little morsels up at the top. Right, or all in there. So um, I'm doing kind of a bad job explaining this tonight, but I'm going to go back to that little, um, to my little split screen because I wrote down some other ideas and I, I don't want to forget. Um, so let's see. And these, some of these were sort of raw material to add on ideas, um, these little exit strategies, which we can make up some on the spot. That one's kind of cool. So here's, here's one. Um, now, this is the add-on. I didn't get to this one yet, but it's a two-note add-on right here. So we're going to go one E and, uh, one E and, right? A, uh, two E. A, uh, two. Okay. That's the add-on at the end of that, so... And so we're going to do that one. So I'm putting on that add-on, that little extra add-on, which is we're doing basically um, four with two on the bottom, then two with two on the bottom, then four with two on the bottom, then two with two on the bottom. Right, so again, that's the same idea um, with that little add-on. And again, this is something that you can move around the kit, play around with it. Um, I'll do the other one. Back to the next one. So again, it's the same, you know, little two morsels kind of getting now combined, right? And then this fill, I don't even know if I remember what I wrote, but... Um, Oh, yeah. Right, so a little exit strategy there. Um, okay, so so that's kind of, you know, war out its welcome. <laughs> I'm going to move move to the next one. And, um, you know, the, the idea behind this stuff is really just to play around with, with some ideas and, um, and see if you can come up with some fills that are very um, sort of phrase-oriented stuff, things you can almost sing. You know, things that um, will be memorable in your mind that aren't random, just some random stuff. And... Um, you know, it's the kind of thing I just play around with these ideas. 
a bunch and then just see where it takes me. So, you know, some of the things I did back in my heavy metal days when I was younger, but I was doing sort of these kind of things like, um, you know, where it's twos and fours all mixed up and it's all 30 second note driven kind of stuff. Um, and you can come up with some really nice sort of mixed phrases of fives and sevens and threes and all this sort of fun. So, you know, those kind of things there. It's a little bit more, you know, mixed sort of ideas of fives. Those kind of things. And then um, you can little sweeps with it. Um, another little idea, just playing around with it, just just messing around. So um, you know, get creative and and go for it. Um, and you know, see what you come up with. Maybe you, you come up with some really beautiful ideas and show me next time. Um, so here's, here's where I was trying to kind of see if I could do this contrasting thing. And I'm just going to talk about this one and then I'm going to jump back in the chat. But I went, um, oh, so this one is, right? Pat boon, Debbie boon. Um, right? So, then um, we could go. Um, right, so if we go this one. So, you know, it, you can hear how that relates, right? Um, yeah, coming back up to that to make it really similar, right? So that's what I was talking about. And you could kind of, if you mixed those, both those ideas in something, it wouldn't be leaning so hard towards a heavy metal thing or a, or a hard rock thing. You could get away with that, I think, sparingly in different contexts. In a funk context, possibly, or in something funky. We maybe we won't call it funk, but um, you know, Right. So, I mean, I think I could pull it off and get away with it if you keep it tight and you keep it short. <laughs> so it could be a, uh, something fun to work with anyway. So um, and then, of course, you know, displacing the this, these ideas make it a little bit more flavorful. So one. Um, what I meant to play. So, you know, kind of waiting for the E of these things. One E and a two. Right? So getting that one E and a two. One E and a two. One E and a two. E and a three and a four and one. So not everything is like sitting on the one. Um, yeah. So anyway, this little topic, I mean, it kind of took up a lot of time, but um, I did flub a lot of it. Um, admittedly, but you know, these are like Ross was saying, much easier to play some of this stuff than to explain it. But, um, especially, you know, doing it off the cuff, um, tonight, but, uh, so sort of those little morsels are kind of fun. I'll, I'll finish the sheet and make it a little more cohesive for y'all 
and hopefully it's something you can play around with. You know, if you're playing in a style of music that does not allow that or call for that, my apologies, but have some fun with it anyway because, you know, it can't hurt to um, to go through and play some things that you haven't played before. So, um, yeah, absolutely. So that was sort of fun. Anyway, um, I'm going to check in with the chat one more time, and then I'm probably going to wrap things up pretty soon because um, I'm going to go eat dinner. I've been in here a long time today, not drumming, um, unfortunately doing a lot of technology stuff. Um but I'm trying to carve out, you know, more shed time for myself, which has been hard to do lately. So, um, you know, bear with me. I, I, I thank you for your patience. <laughs> um, so this is Christmas week. We are not doing the Hand Technique Workshop live stream, which, um, you know, is disappointing to me in a way because we've been doing it for so long. But, um, yeah, it'll be... It'll be um, there in in two weeks you know will be off for two weeks uh for christmas and new year's and then that stream will be back um no i'm not having chicken cutlets ross <laughs> um thanks uh john i hope you do like the ideas to work with um you know uh definitely has its place in the musical world so you got to pick your spots as you know, you uh, when you're teaching your students, maybe it'll be useful. We'll see. Um, Merry Christmas to everybody. And um, I just saw a thing about Ludwig. I'm sorry. I got distracted by the Ludwig conversation that was going on in there. Um, so, yeah, Lucia, you have, um, I think you have some Tama double bass pedals. Is that correct? I think you do. Um, Don O'Keefe. Look at Don showing up right at the very end. Awesome. Nice to see you in there, Don. Um, so uh, I think what I'll do is I'll finish that little sheet and I'll I'll pop it into a MailChimp thing to y'all. Um, you know, everybody that's actually signed up for the mailing list. Now, do me a favor. If you know anybody that doesn't have my book, encourage them to go to the um, comment section tomorrow on YouTube and in the comments for the video, just put in hashtag free drum book. Um, some of the ideas are in there. You know, I did kind of um, mishmash them tonight, so I, my apologies. But, you know, it's all good fun. And um, I'll see you guys on Monday for another regular live stream. And um, I hope you guys enjoy your Christmas and have an awesome time. Um, I miss everybody, and I'll talk to you guys soon. I'm going to wrap it up and go get some foods. And um, you guys take care and enjoy the holiday. I'll see you Saturday, Lucia. Yes, indeed. Uh, very cool. All right, y'all. I'm going to head out. Let me find my closing titles. All right. Take it easy. Good night, guys. Bye.